Please pray with me. Gracious God, thank you for loving us. Thank you that you do hear everything we say, everything, everywhere, and that you still are able to forgive us. Help us, Father. Bless us with your Holy Spirit to be people who control our tongues and to give grace and mercy as we speak. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Do any of you struggle with gifts? I'm not talking about the gifts that we give to others. I'm talking about the gifts that are given to us. And I'm not talking about little gifts. Although some little gifts can become big gifts depending upon the circumstances of the person giving them. I am talking about those gifts when someone gives us something that we, we really can't make sense of. It might be a, a valued treasure that someone gives to us and, and we just can't imagine it. It might be the gift of forgiveness that we don't even begin to deserve. We tend to struggle with those bigger gifts. When we get one, we immediately want to give something back. It's like we want to even the score. We want to do something to balance the relationship again. When we're given a gift like that, it can make us vulnerable and feel out of control. There's something inside of us that, that makes us believe that we have to earn everything we get. And when we earn everything we get, everything we have is ours. It belongs to us. A gift of generosity and love throws a wrench in that belief system. Sometimes when we are given to extravagantly, it's like we even forget how to say thank you. We're stunned into silence. We don't know what to do. God has thrown a wrench in our belief system. God has reached out to us in love through Jesus Christ and offered us forgiveness of all our sins, every single one of them, and made us right with God. And because we have been made right with God, we have peace. Here is your gift. It's stunning. It's hard to know what to do. We're at a loss. Do you want to receive it? You didn't do anything for it. You can't pay it back. You didn't earn it and you can't earn it. Now what? And you know what many people do when someone gives them a generous gift, don't you? They often say, you shouldn't have, don't we? Sometimes we even say, oh, I, I can't take that. It's too much. And I wonder if we don't use similar phrases with God. I can tell you that when we do receive this generous gift from God, it is true that we have peace with God and grace fills us. And I know that Christians don't always act like we have peace. It's because we're too busy trying to earn all that we can and own all that we can. And I'm not just talking about money here. We have an internal economy. We have an economy of how we see life. And in that economy, there's little or no time for rest or for peace. As much as we may want it, we don't trust. In God's economy, Jesus has done the work, and we are the beneficiaries. It's a gift. A gift. The Apostle Paul goes as far as saying that when we receive this gift from God, we can go through anything in life with confidence. Anything. We won't give up. We are changed inside when we receive love like this. Our nation 
honors fathers today. I know it's Trinity Sunday, but our nation honors fathers today. And when a child receives a good word from his or her father, it gives them strength to move forward with confidence. It's a gift. We sometimes even call it a blessing. At the same time, I believe that nothing fosters guilt better than parenting. I can vouch for the fact that parents do a lot of things wrong. And I know that for many, the word father causes an internal struggle. As I was writing this, it made me wonder about the Bible passage where a ruler comes to Jesus and calls him good teacher. And maybe you remember Jesus' response. Jesus responds by telling him to call no one good except for God. Even him. I think that maybe Jesus is pointing us to God for our deepest needs. Today is one of those days when we offer the opportunity for healing prayer. You'll be invited to come forward for anointing and receiving a prayer for healing. In our church, this is a sacrament. So I invite you to think about, again, the gift of God in that if you come forward, you can briefly mention your specific need if you choose. It's not a requirement. Many choose to come forward on behalf of another person. Someone who comes forward says something like, I ask prayers for my dad who is ill. I, St. Thomas, also offer this time of healing prayer for any who need to receive the gift. The one offered by God that just might be throwing a wrench in your belief system. If you need peace, you may find being anointed and prayed for will start you on the path you need to walk. I choose my words carefully here. Prayer is a path. The gift of God on this Trinity Sunday is a relationship that brings with it peace and reunion with God. And that relationship does require our time. And yet when we give this time, time itself begins to change. We change. And it is in prayer that we receive the gift. So I invite you to prayer. Our, our prayer teams will be coming forward now. And if you wish, please come forward when they're up front and ready. You may stand or kneel for anointing. You can share a prayer request. You can remain silent. More than anything, I encourage you to be in receiving mode, not doing mode, receiving mode. Let God give to you. If you remain in your pew, please Pray. Pray for those who come forward. Pray for the sick. Pray for your peace. Let today be a marker in your life when your relationship with God goes deeper and God's peace fills more and more of your life. I invite you to come forward.